Hey, what up? Hey, yeah, we've got Chef Glenn Hall here who's going to make a sweet potato waffle recipe with the entire family's going to love, but we've got a great healthy alternative to syrup. Yeah, what we've got, we've got some fresh berries, some natural yogurt, and Jeff has here some beautiful low-fat natural peanut butter. So it's yeah, got to be the good, healthy peanut butter, and so you can put that on a waffle instead of syrup because it's got mm. the corn syrup and everything corn in syrup. it. Yeah, oh, sugar. Great protein, oh, yeah, look at, look at that. that. You're going to have to try it. You're going to eat that. There you go. And hey, look up. You know what that is? Where? It's Where? a kangaroo up in the tree. I'm going to introduce you <laughs> to a cool animal over at the San Antonio Zoo. That's coming up. That is so awesome. I like this waffle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, did you know today is the best? I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're going to get people into a car. I feel like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. Today is the best day to buy a brand new car. Do you know why? We'll give you some details hey, on what to look for. Oh, that guy. Hey, how are you? To buy a yes, I hear horses. Yes. I talk to myself. There you go. You, That's a good-looking fella. That was really good. I mean, if I was a woman, I'd be attracted car. to him. Can you get me in that car today? I can. I can. You can give me your keys and a dollar. I'll get you in. We'll tell you where you can get a great deal on a car today. It's all coming up on SA Live. A 15.38 carat pear-shaped pink diamond fetched a record $31.6 million at Sotheby's in Geneva. The stone called Unique Pink, the most expensive, fancy, vivid pink diamond ever to sell at auction. Sotheby's says it's not yet able to reveal the identity of the buyer who made the purchase over the phone. They must have pretty good credit to take them <laughs> over the phone. The old record for a fancy, vivid pink diamond was $28.5 million for a 16.8 carat stone back in 2015. And right now, Jay Z's trying to figure out how to give it to her. <laughs> if you had that, where would you, would you wear it to work? Oh, sure, why not? If I can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be working. You wouldn't even that. Yeah, would I be working? Anyway, That's a good question. We have uh, still a couple of showers down to the south, maybe a thunderstorm as well, and then further up to the north. There's the chance for a couple of showers throughout the rest of today, but it looks like we'll see more potentially heavy rain late tonight, overnight, and into the day tomorrow. So, of course, again, he's going to have the latest on that at 5 and 6. All right, let's head out back to the buckhorn where they're talking about healthy eating for the kiddos. Good afternoon, Chef and Fiona. Hello. How are you? <laughs> yes, yes, we've washed down the peanut butter. <laughs> we're all good so now. if you were a girl, you'd think you were hot, huh, Roper? <laughs> well, I, I feel like a loser now because of the size of that diamond. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that made every man feel like a... I was just sitting here going... Yeah, well, okay. I, guess she, I guess she'll say yes. <laughs> yeah, she'll say yes. <laughs> hey, we were talking today about the 116-year-old Italian woman who drinks brandy and eats uh, a few things a day that, you know, she credits to living that long. Yeah, she puts a raw egg in her coffee along with three okay, tablespoons of sugar. What? I've never heard of that in my life. She puts a raw egg in her coffee? Mm-hmm. To brew it, right? I've heard about that where you, if you boil coffee like in a pot on the stove and you put an egg in there, it keeps the ground, the coffee grounds down at the bottom. But I don't think she cracks what? it in her cup. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I've, I've heard that before. Right, I Jeff? I've never heard of something. Say, yeah. I think she's drinking it like Rocky. Really? I think she puts that, because she drinks brandy too. I'm thinking she's spiking that coffee. Listen, she's 116. <laughs> she's 116. Who are, who are we to question? <laughs> right. <laughs> really? If it works for her. What is the secret to longevity? I remember the older lady who said a diet Dr. Pepper every day. Remember, mm -hmm. remember, I remember her? That. I remember her. Yeah. Do you yep. guys have a secret? I mean, is there anything you do, Mike, to keep young looking? Red wine. <laughs> uh, I, I make my hair gray. That helps me get older, so, you know, or longevity. So. I, I watch Leslie drink red wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm noticing the trend. I wa yeah. We watch SA Live. That keeps us young. <laughs> it keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't it? Edge of your seat stuff. I, I think if you just live a good, healthy life, I think if you kiss someone you love every day, you're supposed to live longer too, right? Aww. And moderation too. Right, Honestly. Fiona? Yes. As long as they want the kiss, it's Thank welcome. You. That's it. Yes. That's and, you know, and she, and she also credits an early bedtime and um, get away. being single. Be staying single. Yeah. <laughs> That's the other thing. Oh, Pull okay. the ripcord of love. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> All right, we'll take it from here. We want you guys to live a long time. Yeah, so let us know. What's the secret to, uh, you know, a long life? Is there anything that your parents do, that your grandparents did, or that you do, that you've noticed? Share the secrets we want to know, because we want to tap into the fountain of youth. I think you... Uh, ask Willie Nelson what he does. <laughs> well, we know what he does. He's preserved. Tough smoke. <laughs> Everywhere he goes. <laughs> all right. Well, it's healthy, sweet, and all that good stuff. In between, Chef Glenn Hall from the San Antonio Food Bank is here. You know, Glenn... And Glenn worked with mm -hmm. Mick Jagger, who's That's like right. 112 
now. What he, does he do? You used to cook for the Rolling Stones. I spent about six weeks on tour with the Stones. He is super fit these days. He ran a mile before the show every day, had a track belt outside his dressing room. Greens all the way. Greens. Yeah. That's it. And yeah. I heard they get blood transfusions out of the country. Probably every Yeah, that's every another hour. story, yeah. <laughs> that's what we need. We need a track running around the studio. But we need great food, too. And the San Antonio Food Bank is gearing up for summertime with youth programs and the backpack program. And we sure are. Chef Glenn's in charge out there. Yeah, basically what this recipe is going to show everybody today is how many people actually miss breakfast. We run out the door, we grab a coffee because we don't have time, we've got to get the kids to school. This recipe is great because, one, it's combining whole wheat flour with regular flour. Uh, we're using alternatives to put vegetables in there, so we get fiber in there too. So what we have in here, we have a cup and a quarter of whole wheat flour, a cup and a quarter of uh, all-purpose flour. There's a small sprinkle of brown sugar, very light, light brown sugar, so mm -hmm. it's uh, getting away from the cane sugar. We have baking soda and baking powder. Just separated three eggs. So if you want to go, we're starting at all of the wet ingredients. We have three eggs here. Mm -hmm. Sweet potato, two teaspoons of vanilla. We have six tablespoons of coconut oil. And then we have two cups of uh, low fat buttermilk. So we're gonna mix all that we're together. We're gonna mix all the wet ingredients together. Okay. What I have here is basically the three egg whites. How much of this? All of that, that's of one okay. cup of sweet potato. What that's gonna do is act as the binder inside of there, get the fiber in there. And oh, all I'd done yeah. was took just one regular sweet potato, boiled it up, put it through the food processor, and then just put it down into a puree. Now, we were talking earlier about um, syrup substitutes as well, so a healthier alternative rather than giving your kids, you know, corn syrup. Yeah, all those syrups is high fructose corn syrup, which is just another name for pure sugar. Take a look at the plate we have over there. We have summer berries. So what that's going to do, you're going to get the natural sweetness of the sugar coming from the berries. We also have some yogurt there, low fat, um, natural. There's no flavorings in there, so the buttermilk goes in there too. It's All right, here we all go. All of that goes in. That's the buttermilk. And there's a trick to this because we want our sweet potato waffles to be light, airy, and fluffy. Yeah. So, so he's whipping it good over here. What I'm doing, I'm just going to get the egg whites up to stiff peak or soft peak. Once you have everything combined into that, we're just going to gently fold this into there. And the egg whites, because it's so aerated, that'll actually make that a little bit more aerated too, light and fluffy. I see. Okay. And of course, the food bank is looking for volunteers to help this summer. Yeah. Kids is out of school in two and a half weeks. So a lot of those kids, they rely on either free or reduced cost meals. Once school's out, they don't get those meals supplied anymore. So we have an amazing staff at the kitchen, uh, the community kitchen at the food bank. Right now, we're gearing up to produce over 15,000 meals every single week. That's crazy. Yeah, and that's even not including the people who have pantries, don't have access to the summer feeding program. Right. So we need monetary donations. One dollar equals seven meals. We need volunteers to come help make all these meals. We have an amazing staff of cooks, chefs, volunteers, but we're going to need more and more and more just to help everybody get that food out. So muscle, money, and anything mm -hmm. in your pantry that is uh, not, going to, not can, going to use yeah, right now. Anything you can, you can that you can all right. do is all great help. We have 12 staple foods that we kind of rely on. Peanut butter, canned meats, canned stews. Any food that comes into the food bank will go out and help all of these people. All right. How do we so do this the right way? straight into the top. Straight in. Okay. But once that's in. It's in. Very fold. gently just fold it through. So we're just going to move this to the side a little bit. What we have over here as well, I've got some on the grill before you guys started all this. And as Jeff always says, by the magic of TV. Poof! <laughs> Look at this. There they are. Voila. And now we can just kind of... You can feel free to dress it however you want. Okay. As I say, we use the alternatives to the sugar. We have the low-fat peanut butter here. We have the berries, chopped strawberries here. Ooh, I'm going to do some of the peanut butter because you got to taste some of that earlier. That's a great way to get protein, and kids think, you know, Yeah, and with obviously this, this has a, some sweetness to it, too, because of the berries. Mm -hmm. It does, and with this recipe, this makes actually 16 waffles, so if you have kids left at home, you know, we all have kids, uh, and some of them don't go, are going to go hungry because parents have to go to work. Make these in advance on a Sunday. They can be in the fridge on a Saturday uh, all the way through the week. Pop mm. it in the toaster, and that way the kids are going to get a little bit of breakfast before they go out to summer camp, summer school. 
anything like that. And it's also, breakfast is one of the most important meals for the guys. They needed to get the metabolism going, yep. gets the brain thinking. All these young kids are future scientists, TV presenters, <laughs> astronauts. Hopefully more so si yeah. scientists, no. doctors, and lawyers. Hopefully, That's what my I, mom I, would have wanted. I'm raising the president at home, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to blame. She's still waiting for me to grow up. <laughs> How is it? I, I, is it good? It's delicious. All right. Thank you, Glenn. Remember, for the recipe and information on volunteering for the food bank, just head to salive.com, where we've provided a link. All right, well, eating healthy is good for the body and soul, but how do you get your kids to eat a healthy snack? Or well, you got to be creative. My idea was the peanut butter. Yeah, that was good. Uh, obviously, putting cash in the casserole helps, too, when they're looking for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but Jen Tobias Trusky, our mo resident mom and uh, a superstar named, uh, mm -hmm. her real name is Jennifer Eva, <laughs> um, she went out and started asking people, especially moms, how do you sneak the good stuff into the meal? Mm -hmm. Watch this. Broccoli and vegetables. <laughs> oh, okay. I know how hard it is to get the little ones to eat well. So what do you do to get them to eat? A little thing that we keep at the table is just a dice, like a regular, you know, um, a, a dice. And if there's something that the kids don't want to eat, they roll the dice and that's how many bites they have to take. So it could be as many as six or as few as one. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yes. That is perfect. I'm going to try that. Hey, lettuce. Oh, lettuce. Okay. And it kind of makes it fun, and it takes the argument out of trying to get them to eat healthy foods. I try to feed her the vegetables, but sometimes it doesn't work, so we either hide them in smoothies or a ground turkey dish that I just recently made. We cut up some uh, broccoli and sliced or grated the carrots and mix it in with the ground turkey. We use these um, pouches. They're like, like toddler veggie pouches, and they have purees. Um, with sweet potatoes and stuff that I wouldn't normally get him to eat if he sees the weird shape or, you know, yeah. thing like that. Then I feel like he's a little bit more willing to try, like, peas on his plate or something. You told me there's something they have to have to eat those veggies. They have to have ranch at all times, like, for any vegetables, carrots, cucumbers, um, even sometimes onion, celery. Mm. They eat everything. But whatever works, right? So give them a bowl of ranch and they'll eat it up. Yes, ma'am. A uh, great way to sneak that stuff in, all the good stuff for the kids. Coming up, it's a wild Wednesday. I swung by the San Antonio Zoo to meet a few new friends. What is that? You're going to find out. What is that animal? And later, we got a Texas boy. He's got some chops on him. I can't wait for you to meet him. William Beckman will sing. Coming up. Come on now. Fill my glass with water. I've never seen a kangaroo like this. We are here at the San Antonio Zoo in the tree kangaroo exhibit, and Ellie Shirtliff <laughs> is here with me. And who do we have here? We have our mother tree kangaroo, Libby, and she is 10 years old, and her 10-month-old Joey, who is not named yet, so she's permanently outside of the pouch, so they're just kind of a duo. They're called tree kangaroos. Do they jump? They can, but they prefer climbing. They actually spend about 98% of their time in the trees. Look at it, look at it go. Oh, we got it, Ellie. Look at and they have to learn how to jump and everything, so she's just kind of going with it. Now, they kind of look like possums. They do, and they're um, very similar to a possum. They do have a pouch and a long tail, um, but they're actually a member of the macropod family, which is the kangaroos and wallabies and tree kangaroos, and there are 10 species of them. <laughs> awesome, oh, here we go, she's gonna Yay. reach. So look at those, tell me about their claws. They yeah. look extremely strong. Their claws are really, really long and that helps them to grip onto branches without having to use as much energy. And their tail, of course, looks really strong. Yes, and balance. it's for balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't really use their tail to grab onto anything, but they just use it to climb around and spend all their time in the tree where they find all their food. So what do they like to eat? They like to eat mostly... Mostly, uh, probably a GoPros, GoPros I think. I think, she's about to eat the GoPro. Um, they like to eat mostly leaves and flowers. They love fruit. 
They love vegetables, that's what they eat here at the zoo, but in the wild, mostly they just find different types of leaves, um, bark, they'll eat the bark off of trees. Um, they have a pretty wide diet, and that's why here at the zoo, we feed them lots of different fruits and vegetables, grains, um, like I said, leaves. We cut them different types of what we call browse, which has leaves, maybe flowers, so that's their favorite thing. Ooh, I have so a good. banana. Who can I try to give this to? The baby? Is she it? might be interested. Would you like a banana? <laughs> Would you like a banana? She's all about She's that like, GoPro. Um, mom, ma what is mom this? is all about the GoPro. <laughs> Hi. Oh, look, it's Ooh, a banana. banana. Oh, oh no, no. no. It's probably. We have so because many Because I'm a stranger. Things. It's like stranger mm -hmm. danger, isn't it? Stranger danger. They, they do have a little of the stranger danger, but um, they're probably just, you know, investigating their surroundings and thing in the they trees. almost never really need to go down to the ground. The significance of this little Joey's birth is a big deal. It's a really big deal. It's actually um, one of only four Joey's that was born in the zoos in North America this year. And um, there's actually only about 49 or 50, I believe it's 49 uh, tree kangaroo, Matchy's tree kangaroos in zoos today in the United States. So this is a really big deal. Um, they are part of a species survival plan. So something that we do is we help with the breeding program to make sure that we um, really raise, aw raise awareness about their situation in the wild there's actually only 2,500 left in the wild. Okay, so remember Tree Kangaroo Awareness Day is this Saturday, May 21st here at the San Antonio Zoo from 10 to 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And there's gonna be all sorts of stuff going on. Fun games, we're gonna have a table out front of the exhibit. Um, there's gonna be a keeper talk to talk about it with the animal care specialist. And we'll just have lots of great activities. All right, for more information, of course, on the San Antonio Zoo, just head to our website, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Coming up, redecorate your entire patio for just under 50 bucks. We're going to tell you how next. Hey, coming up on SA Live, we're going to tell you about the hottest deals and the best place to buy a brand new car in San Antonio, centrally located, easy to find. It's all right here at Benson Honda. Thursday. No, I don't even know where to go from here. Just hold me close and tight. I'd like to say I discovered this kid, and I did kind of, by accident. William Beckman Tell me with a dream of going to Nashville. He is in school there. He is a Texas boy, and he's going to sing for us, playing some of his original music, and he would love to come sing for you into your living room or break room. So y'all stick around. He's really good. Man, if I could just be his manager, I'd be set. I know his granddaddy and his daddy are proud of him. We're glad you're watching today. I'm Jeff Roper, and it's always about making you feel good, giving you information that makes you feel good and makes you look better, too. And we've all been there trying to lose some pounds, uh, letting life catch up with you. Maybe you're toting kids or just, you know, you don't stop for yourself and you eat lunch out of a bag. Well, you need to stop all that. There's a way that you can lose weight fast. And Michaela Vera is here from Slimetica. She's the chief marketing officer. So when we say Slimetica, there's two words in there, Slim and Medica, yep. which, wh what is the recipe? So we usually combine technology with medicine to basically come up with a customized plan that's specific for each patient. So it's not kind of, it's not a cookie cutter type of deal. It's specific to every patient too. Whether you want to lose 10 pounds or 100 pounds, we're going to put together a plan that's specifically made for you. And people are dropping weight like it's going out of stock. They are. Uh, we have a picture of Rose. I want to show Rose Gallegos. This is Rose before and after. Tell us her story. So Rose um, came to Slamedica kind of just down and out, not feeling well, very tired, um, wasn't sure why she couldn't get the weight off, was doing everything that she possibly could to try and lose weight, but she was just at a stopping point. So we came up with a custom plan for her that was um, basically inclusive of the Zorona laser, which we've talked about on here before, and along with some prescription medications that were designed to help and enhance and maximize her results in order to get her to the results that she's at now in just eight weeks. She looks great. She's lost close to 50 pounds. Yes. And uh, she's on a healthy lifestyle. And you combined, again, medicine with the latest technology. And we talk about the Zorona laser. That's, that's from Europe. That's not common in San Antonio. The only place that has it. Yep. How does it work? It's basically a cold laser technology. So with cold laser, there's no pain and no downtime associated. Of course, no surgery, no side effects. Right. And it's basically designed with um, laser technology or laser frequencies that are just strong enough to penetrate beneath the skin to the fat cell to create tiny, tiny little microscopic tears in your fat cells, which allows the fat to be secreted from the cell. There you go. So it's kind of like popping a balloon. V evacuate. Yep, exactly. And everything's processed out, which is going to result in a huge inch and pound loss without having to go through any surgery. And you're using a doctor. Yes. 
So that's the other thing. It's customized. We are. It's not a quick fix. This is a custom plan. Exactly. We're checking for um, anything basically that could prevent you from maximizing your results as well. So thyroid issues, hormone levels, all of those good things in order to get you the best results possible so, as quickly. And, and by the way, your body needs room. So all your organs can work. That's why you get healthier. Sure. So what kind of results are typical? Um, our, our average patient sees about a half a pound to a pound a day, which is um, pretty quickly and as quickly as your body can sustain naturally flushing everything out. And we do guarantee that you lose at least four inches in the first two weeks. We commonly see anywhere from six to ten. So really good results really quick. I know you'll finance the process, but will you finance my new clothes? Because you're going to have to buy some. That's the whole deal. You're going to have you. That's the fun part, right? We can talk about that. Yeah, that's how that works. We'll get you a deal on clothes because you're going to lose weight. All right, here's the number, 210-971-4000, and you have a special for our viewers. We do. We're offering a total transformation package for the first 10 colors. Regularly, it's $2,000, half price for only $1,000, and basically everything that you need during that treatment process is included. Um, your laser treatments, your Vibrogym sessions, your doctor's visits, prescription medications, and a custom diet plan. You can call or text us. We can text back and forth to set up your appointment at 210-971-4000. Okay, and how many people can do this? We've got 10 we have the first 10 calls. First 10. Okay, so you got to call or text now to 210-971-4000, 210-971-4000. Remember the name, Slim, that's the goal, Medica. You're using a doctor to help you get there the right way. Revive the beauty within it, Slim Medica. 210-971-4000, 210-971-4000. Rose will tell you, there's less of her, and she's happy about it. Absolutely. That is great, slimmedica.com. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you. Good to see you. You too. All right, we got to get some clothes too. Right? <laughs> All right, straight ahead on, on SA Live. Spruce up your patio. You can do it for under half a Benjamin. That's 50, right? Who's on the 50? Is that Jackson? Or do we replace him too? What's happening? That's Jefferson. I don't know. I don't have that kind of money. It's a patio on a budget. It's straight ahead on SA Live. to feature a cool new event happening around town with the CPS Energy Cool Zone. Cool. The, yeah, cool, cool, so cool. This week's Cool Zone is a local favorite and a huge tradition. The Big Red and Barbacoa Festival is happening Sunday, May 22nd from 10 a.m. to 8.30. Yep, it's going to be at R&J's Music Pavilion. That's right, they're going to have some great music, Fiona. Oh, yes, you can expect music from local bands and taste some of the greatest barbacoa in the San Antonio area. Yum, 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 yum. Tickets are $10 for adults and free for kids under the age of 12. I, they won an Oscar out there, that's big. <laughs> Look at them go, they're so excited. <laughs> I tell you, that's Big Red the, and Barbacoa. That's the party. We want to be invited. Please show us your pictures, tweet us, all right? Uh, redecorate in the mm -hmm. patio because, well, you may have, you're going to want to put the kids outside at some point. <laughs> just, or you just may want to lock them quiet. inside and you can escape. But everybody needs a place to relax and escape in, in you know, in the afternoon. Yeah. So um, we've got our good friends at Home Depot have got you covered with an easy way you can revamp for under 50 bucks. Take a look. It's that time of year, time to get out and enjoy the beautiful sunshine. And what better way to do it than to be out in your patio area, but sometimes you want to dress it up a bit and that can add up. So joining me today is Amber Crislin Aguayo from Home Depot on Days of Vala. And you have the best way to find the coolest things for $50 or less. So if your budget is $50 or less and you want to find some items that are no more than that, you're going to show us how today and you're going to tell us what they can add to the patio as well, right? right? So something as simple as a pillow or this really cool spear light, which I think looks like a bird nest, which is really cool. Um, but they can really add to it. So tell me how the pillows make a difference. To pillows, they add a little bit of color to patio furniture you might have had for years and years. Um, and they can also add a little character. Yeah, and they're all 16 bucks, so. Okay, so $16, and uh, for a patio, for example, like this one, where there's just a lot of browns and a lot of blacks, 
It definitely gives that pop, right? right? Okay, great. Now tell me about this cool light. Um, it's under 20 bucks. It's um, an LED, so it's not gonna overheat or anything like that. And it's really cool to have small fix light fixtures because uh, the bright lights don't bother your neighbors. If you have nosy neighbors, um, they're not gonna <laughs> bother them. They're not gonna keep them up at night if you have a late party. Um, just provide a little bit of ambiance to your patio. So what's next on the list? Tell me about these planners. Well, these are really cute. They're um, both under 20 bucks. Um, we have them in multiple sizes, and they're really cute because you can either write names of plants on them, like basil or parsley, um, but you can also write kids' names on them, and you can um, teach them a little responsibility. They can watch them grow. They can tend to the flowers or the plants or vegetables, whatever you choose to grow in them. And they're really cool because they have a drain in the bottom, so you don't have to worry about the water um, getting soaked up in there and rotting the wood. They're all under 10 bucks, um, so you get them. Get them from the root like this, just pop them out, work the soil a little bit, oh. and you can add a little bit of our Virgos soil potting mix. And we do have moisture um, control just in case you're one of those people that forgets to water your plants, um, which is really cool. It has little beads in there that will um, soak up the moisture and release it as needed. And there you go. And this is another great idea you can do. Uh, the lanterns are about 20 bucks. Um, it's just a little way to spruce up your um, patio area. The LED lights are under 20. The um, blue marbles are under 10. And the LEDs are really cool because you don't have to worry about turning them off. You don't have to worry about the kiddos burning themselves. So any accidents like that. So it's really simple to do. You just get your LED light. The different sizes do range differently. This one's under 10, the larger one is um, about 20. So you put, go ahead and put it in there. And it flickers so it looks like a real candle. And then you can just put some marbles in there. And there you go, it's simple as that. And then we can go find a cute place to put them. You can use them on your patio, your deck, or you can use them as a centerpiece. Really simple and cute. Coming up, tell us, what's the secret to life? Joe says... Secret to life. Isn't that it? Secret long life. To, well, you, I mean, you, let's just get a yeah, life. Let's just right? get a life. <laughs> just try to make it along. But I like that a secret to life would a be a good margarita. Well, yeah, what is, that's a song by <laughs> Faith Hill, I think. It's, of course, a good margarita. Voice is, is as big as the state of Texas. A performance from Texas native William Beckman. That's next. Come on now. Fill my glass with whatever you're drinking. I'm Jim. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, he's a kid with a big dream, and he's from right here in Texas. William Beckman is here to perform for us today. You are from Del Rio. Del Rio, Texas, that's right. And you live where now? Nashville, Tennessee. That's a good place to be for yeah, what it's you want to do. To, yeah, <laughs> that, it's exactly where you need to be if you want to be a songwriter. So how long have you been writing songs? About five years. And how old are you now? 20 years old. 20 years young. Yeah, All right, so if you, could, uh, if you could open for anyone, who would it be? Uh, dead or alive? Doesn't matter. Probably Frank Sinatra. All right, Frank Sinatra. I think that'd be really right. cool, you know? That's, that's Suit my and tie, that, uh -huh. that whole thing. What Being about, a crooner, yeah. What about somebody now? George Strait, for sure. And it's his birthday today. I know, happy, so happy birthday. 64th birthday to happy George birthday Strait. Happy birthday to George, right. All right. So what type of music do you play? I like playing a little bit of everything, but I think a majority of the songs that I play are um, country and folk, I, I would say. Uh, but I like pop and I like writing blues songs and too. The one I'll be playing uh, later is, is, a, is a pop song. So. so what is the last song that you sang along to in the car? Go on, don't think about it. Uh, probably Sorry by Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah. All right. And I'm, so, I'm gonna admit it, yeah. So who else inspires you? Um, everybody does. I like Jason Isbell. He's a great songwriter. Um, he's getting a lot of attention in Nashville right now. Um, yeah, Sturgill Simpson. Uh, Taylor Swift, she's great too. Um, yeah, all those, all, just everything. I all like right, it. I like what are you going to play for us today? A song that I wrote called Midnight Moon. 
And what genre is that? That's more pop, yeah. More pop? Yeah. All right. Let's get the information up on screen. We're going to tell folks how to okay. find your music. You can stream William Beckman's music on SoundCloud and download on Bandcamp. Just search for William Beckman. Go ahead. Take it away. You got three generations here. Yeah, you got dad your dad and, my and your here. granddad. And they are proud. Well, we wish you the best. Thank you so Thank much. You we'll hear a little me. more from you later on. All right, coming Thank up. You. Bad weather can cause damage to your vehicle. Benson Honda is having a hail of a sale. We'll talk about that. And also tomorrow on SA Live, the SA Live crew takes on the, the on an is, extreme escape. We're going to make it out. Find out tomorrow at 1. Hey, coming up on SA Live, we're going to tell you about the hottest deals and the best place to buy a brand new car in San Antonio, centrally located, easy to find. It's all right here at Benson Honda. It's the great out. I can't tell you how hot I feel and how sexy I think we look. John Medellas and I are just hanging out here in a brand new vehicle from Benson Honda, centrally located in San Antonio, right across 410 North Star Mall. Everybody knows where you guys oh, are. Oh, yeah. Because you were right here on San Pedro. Tell everybody what we're traveling in today, John. Jeff, this is a 2016 Honda Civic Touring model. Okay. And this car is different. It's nice. Totally been revamped for 2016. You have to come see the difference in the 2016 Civic because it's, it's almost criminal. 
It's incredible. It, it, we all remember the Accord. Yes, sir. And this is a lot like that now. Absolutely. Well, this is a sleek design here, totally revamped. The Touring model comes with some nice standard features. We've got Honda Sensing, Advanced Compatibility Engineering, a Honda Lane Watch. You've got a nice sleek look this year. Let's talk about the competitive pricing difference at Benson Honda because this is something that a lot of people may not be aware of. Well, we're uh, restructuring our pricing. We're starting off with MSRP. Uh, we're offering free tent for the entire month of May on all of our vehicles. Okay, so the weather's heating up. Oh, yeah. Everybody in San Antonio knows how hot it gets. Yes, sir. Okay, not just with us in the Civic. That's right. But how hot it, hot it really gets. So we're talking about tent, free tent? Free tent for the entire month of May. Okay, that's one of those dealer add-ons. Oh, no. No, it's free. But, it, but you're not charging anybody. That's right. Okay, so you can have that on any vehicle. Plus, there's the added value of all the hail damage. You're having one hail of a sale. That's right, Jeff. Right now, with our current lineup of vehicles, if they were exposed to the hail damage, you can purchase that vehicle as is, or you'll allow us to refer, uh, recondition that vehicle, PDR, paintless dent repair, and we're still going to give you a great savings. It's amazing to me what you've done here, because this car has hail damage on one side, yes. and the other side, you fixed in-house. That's right, Jeff. We're showing you the quality of work. This is the before, and this is the after product right here. Paintless dent repair, something that we can accomplish on site. It's a paintless dent repair. So you can either sell me this half of the car. That's right. Or you can sell, you can sell me this half of the car. If you like, we can sell it to you as is. <laughs> well, yeah, I could buy this right now. That's right. Any way I wanted it, but you can take care of this in a couple of days, have it all done, have it perfect for anybody. And But you're still going to knock off price because of the dealer add-ons, incentive, the ultra-competitive pricing, and the fact that you got to move these vehicles. That's right. We've got over 500 cars were affected by the most recent hailstorm damage. So we can sell you the vehicle in its current condition or also repair it and sell it to you uh, with a discount savings. You have to come and see, you have to check out, and you can pick whether or not you want a hail damage vehicle, whether you want them to fix it, because they can fix it here on the lot. Absolutely. Okay, because every all the work's done here. Yes, sir. Or you can, you know, just drive away and whatever you want, right? And That's you're right. going to save a bunch of money, because the dealer add-ons, no charge for those, the tent's there, and then the hail damage, we're talking thousands of dollars you can save. That's right. You're going to get a great deal. Tell everybody again where to find Benson Honda, because I know where it is. It's in the heart of San Antonio. That's right, Jeff. We're located at 9100 San Pedro off of 410, right across from North Star Mall. And you pull up and you ask for John, and he's going to give you the best deal. He has to knock thousands of dollars off because, well, look, the savings is closer than it appears. There you go. It's right here That's at right. Benson Honda. All right, what's the secret to a long life? Yes, yeah, saving money. What is it for you? Do you drink castor oil? What do you do? You smoke cigarettes? What are you doing over there? I doubt it. I got that sunshine in my pocket. I got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body. When it drops, ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. We're more like the way we rock it. So don't stop. I'm done. Hey, earlier in Plugged In, we want to know what's the secret to long life? Well, Love Live Strength says the secret to a long life is a long getaway with some good fishing and a lot of beer. Yeah, but see, that leads to short employment. <laughs> Rossi says oh. her granddad says always an onion a day will keep the bad health away. But He's 75, going strong, and we're rooting for you, granddaddy. Woo! Miguel says, country music, family, and friends, and of course, SA Live, oh, with yours truly. And yours truly. That's sweet. And we'll give you a t-shirt. <laughs> Thanks. Coming up tomorrow at 1 on SA Live, yum yum. Oh, yes, it's a summer salsa recipe with Chef Johnny Hernandez from El Machito. I know him. He's a Summer singer. grilling. Yeah, it's big. Summer grilling. <laughs> and we're going on a big adventure tomorrow. The clock is ticking. I'm in trouble. Look, you're already messing around. We're going to an extreme escape house like you've never <laughs> seen before. It's brand new in San Antonio. We'll take you inside for a sneak peek, and Fiona starts shoplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're trying to figure out how to get we're out. We're trying to figure out how to get out of that room. Wait till you see this tomorrow. It's, <laughs> this is great fun. All right. Well, William Beckman is going to play us out with... 
a mouth harp. <laughs> Some kind of war. Some kind of war. 